This lesson is on externalities, which is when some of the costs of an action or some of the benefits of an action spill over onto a third party. Okay. When a rational choice is made, the decision maker considers the marginal cost and the marginal benefit, and they do every action for which the marginal benefit is greater than the marginal cost. And they stop when the marginal benefit and the marginal cost are equal, right? So that's how a person decides how many hours to go bike riding or how much Fortnite to play or how many jelly beans to eat. Okay? And so if a person sees all of the costs of their action and all the benefits of their action and goes until the marginal benefit equals the marginal cost and it stops, that's a rational choice that leads to what we describe as the right amount or the optimal amount of the action being done. Okay. But that means we're going to have a problem when some of the benefits of the action are not captured by the person making that choice. That is, they don't see all the benefits of their action. So some of those benefits spill over onto someone else. They're going to misperceive the marginal cost and the marginal benefit of that action and do the wrong amount of it. Okay? In the same way, if the person misperceives the costs of their action, so if they don't bear all the costs of their actions and some of those costs spill over onto someone else, then they're going to, again, misperceive the costs and benefits of the action, and they're going to underestimate the costs and do too much of the action. Okay, so those are externalities. When some of the costs or some of the benefits of the action spill over onto what we call a third party. Okay, so a third party third party is a person who does not choose to be a part of the action and a person whose actions are not considered in the decision maker's weighing of the costs and benefits. So if a person values having nice landscaping in their yard and so they plant lots of nice flowers and they have nicely trimmed hedges, then they're doing that for their own benefit. But anybody who walks by enjoys those flowers okay, and benefits from seeing that pretty landscaping. So the third party there is anybody who walks by and appreciates the niceness of the landscape. But they didn't choose to be part of that situation. And as long as the, the person who put that landscaping into place wasn't considering the benefit to those people as part of the marginal benefit of that choice, then that's an externality. Okay? Not all of the benefits of that action are captured by the decision maker because some of those benefits spill over onto the third party. Okay, So uh, a third party has to be someone who didn't choose to be a part of the situation. And they're the cost or benefits to them has to be not part of the decision makers. Thinking, okay? They have to not be considering the cost to the third party. Okay, so we have two kinds of externalities, positive externalities and negative externalities. But again, both of these are situations where the decision maker isn't correctly perceiving the marginal cost and the marginal benefit of the action, so they do the wrong amount. Okay. So the negative externality, you ready? negative externality is when the decision maker does not bear all the costs of their action. The decision maker does not bear all the costs of their action. Okay? That is to say, some of the costs of that action spill over onto third parties. It's people who did not choose to be a part of that situation and who are not considered in the situation. Okay? So, uh, some classic examples, right, are if a person is smoking outside, then other people who are walking by breathe in that smoke, uh, and they it smells bad, and also their, their lungs can be negatively affected. And so the person who's smoking didn't consider the harm that they're imposing on the people who are walking by. And so that's a cost that's a part of the decision, but that the decision maker isn't considering in their weighing of the marginal cost and the marginal benefit. Um, same with uh, really any sort of pollution, broadly understood. So if your neighbor's playing their music loudly at night and then other people in the neighborhood can't sleep, obviously that's problematic. And so the person who's playing that radio isn't considering the cost to other people of them listening to the music and being interrupted. Okay? Uh, another example is if a person has... Um, or like doesn't shower enough and they smell really bad, right? And then everyone else has to sit near them and smell their bad smells, right? And so the person who's deciding not to shower enough isn't considering the costs to other people, but is imposing those costs on those people who do not choose to be a part of that situation. 